Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Coach Julio and today we're going to practice some TOEFL written structure questions. So in this part of the TOEFL exam, we are asked to complete sentences and they give us uh, four options in a blank. So we have to put in that blank, type in that blank, in this case, select A, B, C, or D, the, the word that better fits the sentence. So we have to be very careful and we have to pay attention to the grammar and to the structure of the sentence. So here is an example. In the past, lions blank common in many parts of the world. And it gives me four options. Lions were common in many parts of the world. Lions once common in many parts of the world. Lions when common in many parts of the world. And lions only common in many parts of the world. And here it tells us that the correct choice is A. Because that's the only answer that actually makes sense. Lions were common in many parts of the world. Now, I cannot say lions once common in many parts of the world and just finish my sentence there. There needs to be more content. The past lions once common in many parts of the world, etc., etc., etc. So, this is just a part of the sentence, but it doesn't complete the idea. So you have to be careful of those little details. So when and only doesn't really make any sense. So let's start. Um, let's start completing these exercises, and I'll try to explain my best why I select the answer that I uh, selected. So here we go. Number one, vegetables are an excellent source of plant vitamins. And I have half of where and contain. So the only option that makes any sense to me is vegetables are an excellent source of vitamins. An excellent source half vitamins? Now, maybe vegetables have vitamins, but not an excellent source have vitamins. Vegetables were vitamins, source were vitamins. No, and contain, source contain vitamins. No, maybe an excellent source. No, it doesn't really make sense. Ve vegetables are, vegetables contain uh, a lot of vitamins or um, but that's the only one that makes any sense let's go with number two microscopes make small things appear larger than really are are really are they really they are really so in this case the only option that makes sense here is than they really are. So microscopes make small things appear larger than they really are. Are they really? No, that will be a question. Than are really? No, because after the than, I have to have a complete idea with the subject and a verb larger than they than really are no there is no subject here so these two are lacking the subject and this has the subject but it's in the wrong place this is the only one that has the subject has the verb and keeps a good order number three the city of Montreal blank on an island St. Lawrence River. The city of Montreal was built on an island in the St. Lawrence River. Has built? 
No, does it make sense? That built on an island? No. Built on an island? Now maybe if you have more information like the city of Montreal built on an island in the St. Lawrence River is one of the most important cities in Canada. So you have to have more information, but if you're gonna close the sentence here, you have to use was built and that would make this sentence passive voice. So you guys, you better, you better study passive voice for the uh, TOEFL exam. Believe me, it's gonna be there. Number four, a singer struggle to succeed in popular music is the kind of story blank a fascinating film could be made. The only option that actually makes sense here is about which. Singer struggle to succeed in popular music is the kind of story about which a fascinating film could be made. For whom? No, whom is for people. Here we're talking about a, a book, a, a, sorry, a film, not a person. By is the person that actually makes something, that makes an action, a story by a fascinating film. So the film didn't, didn't, um, didn't uh, write the story. So it doesn't make any sense. And with, definitely no. So that's the only option that makes sense. Now in the next section, written expression, we have, um, in this part, they're gonna give us four options uh, that are not well written, or um, they have some sort of spelling or a bad grammar or any kind of mistake like that. So we have to, we have to um, find the mistake basically. That's what we have to do here. So the first one says, a large number of automobile parts are now made of plastic instead of steel. So this is a letter B because a large number of automobile parts, so here the R is telling us that it can be it to be they so it's parts usually somewhere in the sentence they give you a clue of where the mistake is just the grammar doesn't match let's uh, let's start here five although a kangaroo normally uses its large feet and strong legs for hopping but it can also swim so the mistake here is, but it can also swim. Because, but is used when we are, when we are um, using a contradictory sentence. So the legs are good for hopping, but they are also good for swimming. So it's not, it's not, um, it's not an opposite idea, but it's, basically in the same line, in the same direction. So we don't use but, we can, we can use and. and. Strong legs for hopping and swimming. So um, that will be but definitely no, because it will need to be a different idea, something that it's the opposite, like uh, strong legs for hopping but not for swimming. That will be contradiction. So in one hand, you have the action that, that the strong legs are good for, and in the other sentence, after the but, you have something that the, the strong legs are not good for. So let's move on. Six, when a severe ankle injury forced herself to give up reporting in 1926, Margaret Mitchell began writing her novel Gone with the Wind. So in this case, it is um, herself. Why? Because when you use herself, it's when the person makes the action and also receives the effect of the action. 
For example, I made myself a sandwich. I did the action and I received the action. I received the sandwich. I made it and I received it. So uh, in this case, she gave up reporting because, not because some for something that she did, but because a severe ankle injury forced her. So it was not herself, it was the injury that forced her to give up reporting. So remember, myself, yourself, herself, etc. They are used when the action, the person that does the action is the same person that receives the effect of the action. Uh, this is very common TOEFL material. The pineapple, a fruit grow in tropical climates throughout the world, is native to parts of South America. So the mistake here is grow. So maybe the pineapple, a fruit that grows in tropical climates throughout the world, a fruit um, grown, past participle, tropical climates throughout the world. Those are possibilities, but a fruit grow doesn't even doesn't even follow the right grammar. Because if it's simple present, it would be a fruit grows. But it would need to have the that a fruit that grows in tropical climates throughout the world. Because if you see it, it is a comma here and there is another comma here, so it's introdu introducing um, some sort of uh, detail. So that's the only mistake there. Number eight, um, canals are artificial waterways often constructed either to transport heavy loads or to delivering water to cities and farms. So the mistake here is delivering because we can see here that it's often constructed either to transport heavy loads or to deliver so it's basically the same grammar here but they changed it for delivering so to delivering no it doesn't make sense to deliver so just follow the same idea here and you'll find the mistake number nine Anne Elizabeth McDowell is best remembered for weekly journal, for a weekly journal, um, Women's Advocate, who she launched in January 1855. So the mistake here is who? Because what does what does who mean here? Well, it's trying to refer to the actual journal so a journal is not is not a person well so we don't we can use who who is for people so a journal it's an object so maybe weekly journal women's advocate which which is for um, objects which she launched in January 1855 so that's a that's a great thing to study for TOEFL who whom which is that it's a great tip that you, you have to know that and finally a ray of light passing through the center of a thin lens to keep its original direction so the mistake here is keep because a ray of light this is the subject passing through the center that's still part of the subject of a thin lens lens is not the subject we're still talking about the ray of light so it needs to be keeps because a ray of light is it keeps so don't get confused by all these words in the middle we're still talking about the ray of light so let's show the answers and as you can see um, all the answers are correct so there you go guys this is a tricky part but
we gotta know it.